Okay, I'm down here this morning. I picked up some uh, Ely, a couple different types. Got about four boxes of each, two of the 10X because it was so pricey. Um, hopefully that's not the one that shoots the best, <laughs> just price-wise. But no, if it is, I, I will order that if I, if I can stack them or whatever. So I got some club. The club, I've had this for about a month now, and I've tried it before, and I don't get good accuracy out of it. It tends to a lot of flyers with the club in my setup so i got a timmy trigger coming so i just want to see a little bit i don't want to waste too much of this ammo i got my trigger there about down to a pound with a with a spring replacement the cz spring replacement but i want to get it lighter so gonna go out here and zero this thing as good as possible just i've got only got about 12 12, 12 rounds i've been using this for blow off so i got to get the uh barrel season and all from the sk and we'll go from there but I'm going to show you what I got down here. Okay, so this is out of 50. And I've got these uh, targets uh, marked up. And I don't know how I'm going to shoot them yet. But uh, we'll do it. I think I got this target printed up wrong. Because it printed up smaller than, than normal. So I'm not doing this challenge. I'm just using this paper for uh, to see where I'm at. Got the uh, match, the team, and the 10X. And this is my club. I'm going to try to zero and at least get in the ballpark, if I can, for the Ely. Because I've been shooting a lot, of, a lot of the SK. So we will see. Go back to the bench. Zero this thing up. And then I'll probably put the camera close to these uh, on uh, fast forward. Fast motion. Okay, back here at the bench. And I'll go four rounds per target. Because I've got only so much uh, of the Ely club there. And then I'm going to go right at the other. So... Get comfortable here. Try to zero, to zero this thing in with as less rounds as possible, of course. This bench sucks. I have a really hard time with it, the way it's designed here. Try to be able to use my squeeze. Okay, so these are these targets here. And I started up here, it's four shots each, and ended down here. So we will see where I'm at. I did notice with this Ely, um, on the match, it seemed more like the Norma, uh, with the, the Norma match, with the, with the, you know, kind of waxy stuff going on there. So it is a little different, it seemed. The club seemed more like my SK. I'm gonna st uh, start at the top, left here and I'll, I'll swing across but uh just gonna go at this and i'm curious now from the club to the match on the ely uh they seem like different totally different bullets i mean as far as the uh texture on them the lubrication i guess they're calling it i think it's also corrosion protection as well it is cold out i would say it's about 52 degrees now so this is kind of interesting i thought the club was the same as the match and the and the 10x and whatnot it's not the bullet is totally different the bullet is more like an sk so i use that for blow off and for seasoning so basically these first three groups i believe first 5 10 15 rounds are um seasoning that first group was great and then I messed with the scope just a little bit. I shouldn't have here. On the match, I felt really comfortable with. Started off strong. I got a 0 0.2840. I don't know how I'd put that down on paper, but the twos, I guess, might call that. Um, <clears throat> on the two. And there's that huge flyer from the match, but that's also part of the seasoning, I do believe. So I was real happy with the team. Eli team. That was my, uh, I think that's going to be my go to to start off with.
Um, <clears throat> on the team, I really liked, felt really comfortable with it. Probably going to be my go-to. And where are we on that one? That's very similar. About there. Point three. Here. Point two nine seven five. Like I said, I don't know how to write that down. Zero out. I like the team. I think team's going to be the one for me. Um, so the uh, 10X, I did like this 10X too. Probably won't be getting any more of this. I'm gonna, I'd go to Lapua before I bought more 10X and just see how that shoots. Maybe some Midas. But uh, I was real happy with this. I, you know, I've heard people sorting ammo and stuff. Never really understood it. Never really even watched anything on it. But I'm thinking the way I would do this, I'm not familiar with the um, Ely, but I never knew it had that nipple. And looking at the bullet, me being an auto body guy, like I mentioned before, um, I have an eye for, uh, you know, I've done a lot of body work and you got to make lines and do this and, and, and sand perfect lines and whatnot and curves. And first thing, when I look at that, uh, some of them are way different. Those nipples I'm talking about, some are hard, some are softer, uh, less pronounced. And you look at the round, looking over the top of the, of the bullet itself, that's out of round two, I see that. And I'm wondering if that's going to be the difference. So I'm going to try to take some perfect ones, the ones that I see with that, with that nice pronounced nipple, that's hard nipples, and uh, see if those are the ones that are going tight or if the ones that have a little roll to them or whatever, if those might be better. But uh, you would think the, the tighter, cleaner, less scrapes and, and everything would be the best. So I'm going to play with that a little bit, I think, and uh, do my own sorting and see if it works. I find very interesting is the, um, the nose on these. I never really knew that Ely had noses on them like this. That is something else. This particular one I just pulled up is off-center. Okay, so let me let me check the team to this Tenex. Tenex is in my left hand. The Tenex is centered better. And it is a tighter nipple. It's a harder nipple. I will say that's a softer nipple. That's a more pronounced, harder nipple. In every way around, this looks sharper. So me being an auto body guy, I may just very lightly try to, to sand on these just ever so lightly with a little, uh, I don't know, maybe 800, 600 wet or dry, and at least get it perfectly round to the center nipple. And I might play with that a little bit and kind of see. It makes me wonder if some of these guys that shoot really consistently are doing something like that, but they ain't telling nobody. But uh, I, I will try like maybe 10 or something and 10 without and do that on my own and just see what I come up with. But I may have a, something tells me I, I may be able to Get some better accuracy out of these ones that aren't perfectly. So, you know, this one's got a got a little bevel off to one side. It's not square. To where we go back to the 10X, the pricey, it is totally square. I'm missing a bevel there. So I can see right there there's a difference. You know, so I find it interesting. Pretty much extremely similar groups on all these ammos. And... um I think it's cool. This last one, I was, uh, I think I did mess with the scope just a little bit. And then on that last shot, I went at that dead center and tried to hit it. And that was close. But if this was a challenge to where I'm hitting these quarter inch little uh, pasters, little dots, this would be terrible. And this probably is terrible to a lot of good shooters, but I'm getting it. I'm, I'm going to work on this until I can find some good accuracy. I'm really liking the team. I think I would, if, it, if I'd buy more of this, it's going to go, I'm going to go towards the team. Then the match. I still want to try the um, standard, SK standard rifle match. I've not tried that yet. I've done a lot of the pistol match. This is just the green box. And I like this, but this is tighter. More. This is more consistent. Um, I do want to do a challenge with, with uh, maybe each one of these I may, I may try. But um, as far as zero, you know, I did all that. For a test on accuracy, I didn't really zero much, so I will. I'm going to take one of the ones that I have the most of. These are all eaten down the same amount. I'm, I'm, I just spent the same amount of rounds today, except for this one. I shot less. So uh, I will zero one of these and uh, stick with that zero. And if I have to super, or if I have to uh, 
uh, underhold, overhold, whatever, I'll do that. I don't mind doing that. I've done it my whole life, so shooting. So uh, that's all good. I like the Ely ammo. I do find that it's so interesting on these noses. I had no idea. And also, this has a waxier feel than I thought. Uh, kind of like the Norma, but not that intense, not that sticky. But I always thought it was like the SK because when I shot the club, I had some of the club that I kind of zeroed from the pistol match to the Ely. I got some club about a month ago all by itself, and I thought I'd do good. I don't like it in my rifle. It doesn't seem to shoot real accurate. A lot of flyers. I don't get these results anyway. So uh, they it was more like the SK. And then when I picked these up, each one of these three, they all have a little bit more wax on them. Some paraffin, uh, whatever it is, cosmoline or whatever. I think it's to help protect storage on these as well and uh works as a lubrication once they heat up today they didn't heat up much um i shot a lot after all shooting all this all in a row consecutively my barrel was cold still so to the touch so very interesting um i'm digging it you know this this more pricier ammo i ended up in a total i got 500 rounds of this in mix of these three so um I think it was about 170, I want to say. So with shipping and all, you know. So anyway, yeah, kind of pricey ammo. But you do if you want precision and, and you're competitive and whatever. I'm fine. I'm competitive. I didn't realize it. I, I think back. I guess I am a competitive son of a gun. So uh do like fun stuff and challenging stuff, mainly challenging yourself. So uh I'm going to stay on this, this Ely and pull up a challenge. Do I may do this... uh St. Patrick's Day challenge again. I got one video out on it with the SK uh, pistol match, and I will try uh, possibly try the um, one of these or all of them. And I do have a Timney trigger coming, and I think I'm going to wait for that because that's going to give me every little advantage I can. Uh, I'm going to do that. So fun stuff. Just want to give a heads up on this ammo and my experience with my uh, CZ457. MTR and I got the arc in with the pro glass on there and uh, so far so good. I'm happy with it A nipple Even that's got some little chunkage here and there Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is the SK And this is the club on the Ely. Looks like the same bullet. I don't want to mix them up, but uh, well, I can't because the stamps are different. But find it pretty darn interesting, guys. The club is a clone, or vice versa, of the SK. And then, of course, you have the nipple buster. Okay, wet t-shirt contest. Here we go. Who's got the hardest nipples? This match actually has the most consistent, most pronounced centers there. So, the match wins the wet t-shirt contest. 